Hey, and welcome back to A Thousand Sense. Chapter 4. Alright, we got one of these things. Of course, they get harder as the game goes on. Alright. So, oh man. Can't really work backwards on this one. That one's got to be like that. Why would they? All right, so we got that one good. I like this one coming in from here. I mean, we don't gotta, we just turn this one any way we want. Oh, where's the current coming? The current's coming from out there. Okay, so we gotta come in through here. Let's see, that doesn't make any sense. Cause you wouldn't wanna go straight into that one. Cut that off. Oh, snap. Let's go ahead and turn that one down. All right, we got to get it in through here, and that lights all those up. Yeah, we can't do that one, so it's got to be that. And that's got to be that. Now this is where it gets a little weird. Okay. No. Maybe. Dies there. How do we get it up top? The 
then we can't get it up here. Hey! Nice work, J Dog. BWET Talk Radio. Alright, we're going to Gahona. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby. Bobby and the. I don't know who else uh, is to do. Duke the Duke. didn't show up for work today. We're, we're, we're trying to get in touch with him, but uh, James, if, you, if you're listening, buddy. Jeez, oh, I just. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I have to get out of here. Stay safe, guys. <sighs> That's messed up. The Duke just burned out. Or did he catch the fever? Damn, it's cold. Coming here was the dumbest idea ever. That's what I tried to tell you. I said we have no way of finding Aquila HQ. I said we don't know for sure if that's even where they took the professor. I said even if we get lucky and find McBride, we have no way of rescuing him. You should have said something. Oh! Why do you think they took Professor McBride? Well, he told us he discovered the vaccine. But if they wanted to stop him making it, they could have just killed him. You sure they they didn't? kidnapped him, so that must mean they want something from him. And that means he's alive. I hope so. What should we do now? We should try to find out more about Kahona. Anything that might lead us to the bad guy's HQ. All right. Do you really think the professor is okay? I hope so. I just don't know if we can help him. We'll think of something. We did okay so far, didn't we? Since when did you become Joe the Optimist? <sighs> Thing is, I really thought I was going to die back in Greystone. I've spent my whole life chickening out of stuff. But after I survived, things don't seem so impossible. That's good, Harper. But I kind of wish your journey of self-discovery didn't mean me freezing my cheeks off in Snowville. Well, you got okay. your sleeves rolled Let's up. keep moving. Your ankle's showing. That was the longest, bumpiest bus ride I ever had. Oh, really? Were you sitting next to a cheese puff eating man spreader with B.O.? What are you talking about? I was sitting next to you. Anywho, on the plus side, I just found us a map. Bully oh, for nice. you. Is the secret Aquila headquarters marked on there? No. The bus doesn't come around again for hours. We have plenty of time to get lost and okay. freeze to death. Okay, gotcha. Nothing else to do there? What's on the map? New Kahuna? Oh, Kahuna. Reagan. Let's um talk to the ice Hello. fisherman. Evening. You folks lost or something? Why would we be lost? Most who come here are either lost or about to get lost. And you and your fella sure don't look like you're here for the ice fishing. Oh, he's not I'm not a feller. <laughs> Are they biting today? They're down there. Just have to be patient. What are you using for bait? Most of the younger folks use those fancy soft baits that wriggle like crazy. I prefer live bait. Seems fairer somehow. Pretty depressing radio, huh? Yep. Probably for the best that the battery died. Especially with that interference scaring the fish away. Interference? What interference? Didn't you hear it? Every now and then you get some noise interfering with your station. People say it's the weather, but it's darn annoying, I'll tell you that for nothing. I don't think it's the so... <coughs> <coughs> Oh! I don't think that's the weather. Good to meet you. My name's Harper. This is Hellowell. Jane. Pleased to meet you, Harper and Hellowell Jane. Name's Burl. Any idea where the interfering signal might be coming from? Coming from? I never really thought about it. You think it might be a military broadcast or something like that? Something, something like, like that. that. Do you live here in Kahona? Oh, no. I live across the lake in Rankin. I'm just here for the perch. Good, quiet place for fishing. Is there anyone living here? Not to my knowledge. They closed the mine after the outbreak in 92 never reopened it. Nature, My wife huh? is more superstitious than me. Doesn't like me getting this close. Cajona's a real ghost town. 
What do you know about the outbreak? They looked into it and discovered it all started with a shipment of contaminated corned beef. No. I heard the importer lost his license. Hardly seems like justice with damn near a whole town dead. People bought that? I mean, I guess we would nowadays too. Does the outbreak on the radio sound familiar at all? What do you mean? Does it remind you of what happened here? In Kahona? No. It couldn't be the same thing again. No. I think it could be. I think it could be. Could I borrow your radio? Borrow it? Bought four. I'm kinda interested in tracking down that signal you mentioned. I told you the battery died, right? Sounds like a fool's errand to me. <laughs> Do I look like a fool, sir? <laughs> okay, you can borrow the radio if you can find my water hook. You need a water you hook. You need a water hook? Yup. I must have lost That's mine somewhere hook. up in the old village. And you want me to look for it? It's like a fishing hook, right? Exactly. Smart young fella like you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, deal. I'll keep my eyes open. Boy, it's cold up here. Hook. You tenderfoot should have dressed warmer. Tenderfoot? Who are you calling a tenderfoot? The fella wearing sneakers on the ice. Talk later. Uh, hey, mind if I borrow this fishing line? Mm-hmm. Was that, yes, you mind, or yes, I can borrow it? Mm-hmm. You know what, sir? There's surly, and then there's confusing. Uh, take it already. I got plenty. Thanks. You're the best. Mm-hmm. All right. Wow, this place is creepy. These buildings look like they've seen better days. Or maybe they haven't. Just years and years of bad, bad days. This place is really run down. The fishermen called it a ghost town. Totally abandoned. Oh, the whole like town it. to myself. I could get used to this. Why am I not surprised you like it here? These buildings look like they... Or this place is really... The fisher... A whole Why am I not surprised... Alright, we've gone through all the things. These buildings, okay. or this place is the fishermen, a whole town. Why am I not? So Are you not? No here? answer. It's locked. Well, you could have told me that to begin with. Get me in this bitch. Hmm. I guess this is as good a place as any to start looking for a water hook. Man, it's dark in here. Light switch. This must be the power switch. Oops. I think that bulb tripped the circuit breaker. <sighs> oh, the RCD keeps tripping. I need to sort out that busted light bulb. Damn it. Ugh, it's too dark. I can't see anything. Isn't that what we're trying to fix? We need a little flashlight too? Ugh, it's too dark. I can't see anything. Oh, God damn it, Harper. What do you want? Ooh. Oh, I should be wearing a jacket like that. Except not frozen to a chair. But that synthetic fur hood sure looks good right about now. Take that. I wonder who the owner of this jacket was. It's an expensive jacket to just leave behind. <laughs> Except not for that synthetic. How do we take that? I wonder who the it's an expensive. <laughs> Except not that synthetic. I guess we can't take the head. Old cigarettes, newspapers, scribbled notes. Ugh, there's still some coffee in these mugs. At least it's frozen. That's true. Hey, a kettle. Nice. An electric stove. It won't work while the power's off. Where's the fuse box? June 1992. Wow, that's like pre-Jurassic Park. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Frosted light bulbs. You know, the guy who invented these was actually getting pranked. Back in, like, the 50s, nobody thought you could frost bulbs without the glass breaking. So as a practical joke, okay, they, they told new engineers to try and invent them. And then one guy actually did. A practical joke? Yeah, like when you send out the new kid for a long stand or striped paint. <laughs> or a water hook. A water... God damn it. He tricked me. Oh, let's go back and get him. Ooh, we got bulbs. What do we need bulbs for? I wonder if this power outlet still works. Can we put a bulb in? I can't look at it, but I can put a bulb in it. Okay, let's see. This frosted light bulb should fit. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're in business. Let's go back to see our boy. Can we... Go talk to, what was his name? Burl? Merle? Earl? We'll go fuck you like Hello. This. Hello again. There's no such thing as a water hook, is there? <laughs> it was just a little prank. First yeah, time a kid you. comes out fishing, we always send them looking for a water hook. Hilarious. Totally worth the frostbite. Don't get sore now. I was only pulling your leg. Here. Take the radio by way of apology. If you can find a place to charge it, you can use it as long as you need. Why, well, I just so happen to know a place where we can charge it. He's building. Or... I wonder if this stove still works. Nice. Yes, it does. You hurt the kettle up. This will heat the kettle up. And can we plug the radio in? Okay, let's get some juice in the old radio. I wonder who's paying the electricity bill. My guess? Someone with a secret radio tower. Ooh, hot. Okay, can we put it in the hood to get the hood from it? No, I don't think that works. Hmm, that ain't right. Oh, can we cut the hood off? I don't think this is the... The jacket is frozen, but the hood might come in useful. Nice. I hope the battery lasts long enough. I heated the kettle. Is there water in it? If there's water, let's go pour it on these gears. Break time's over, Gears. Time to get back to work. Oh, okay. We're just gonna use it like that. I don't think it would stay that warm that long. I think that would take quite ah. a while. Let's go turn it off. The stove, so we don't burn anything down. I'll turn it off again. Yeah, we don't... We don't need to burn anything down. I think he's losing points or something for it. Alright, so we got some controls now. Gears are cool. I guess this is where villagers used to sacrifice goats to the mighty gear god Coglor. Either that, or it's the engine for the aerial tramway. 
That's good. All right, let's just throw the control panel. Okay, the gears are clear. So, where is the deafening sound of heavy machinery? Let's see. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Red, green, what have we got here? Hmm. 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 Well, we do got red and green bulbs. Let me look on time. It's like red's on top. Green's on bottom. I don't get this at all. Not even a little bit. The green bulb just likes to flash. So it's got to be, it's got to be this. Do we have to guess which one it is? buttons that I'm missing. What is this? Okay, let's exit. D's fucking missing. Well, we better not have to do D. Yes, it's working again. Well, that's how we do things. <coughs> I got nothing. I don't know. We'll take it, though. Drop a like if you haven't already. Drop subs if you're new.